A major admission from TD Bank, criminals used its branches for illegal activity and the bank failed to stop them. There were serious instances where the bank did not effectively monitor, detect, report and respond to suspicious activity. This is unacceptable. The bank is one of several institutions under investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice and three different financial regulators. Court documents allege a former TD Bank teller accepted bribes to launder money for drug traffickers. They're going to have to look at their anti-corruption systems because obviously there was a gaping hole there if this could happen. TD says it's cooperating with U.S. officials and has terminated the employees responsible. Analysts suggest total fines could end up costing the bank $2 billion. The fines in the U.S. are meant to punish and to be large enough to hurt your reputation and your bottom line. TD's troubles have also shone a spotlight on money laundering in Canada, estimated at more than $100 billion every year. Experts say regulations here are less robust. How we've designed our institutions is simply not a match for the type of professionalism and the amounts of money that are flowing in and through Canada. In a separate case, TD was fined $9 million by Canada's financial crime watchdog for failing to report suspicious transactions. RBC and CIBC also paid penalties for lax oversight. When we limit enforcement to fines alone, it's really easy for a, a person or a business that puts profits first to just compare the size of the fine to the potential profits and pick whichever one's bigger. The federal government has pledged to establish a new financial crimes agency, but it's not clear yet when that will happen. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.